Hi, I'm Benjamin from Macroblock. Today I'll talk about common issues with LED displays in movie and TV applications. As LED display applications expand, we often see them in concerts, studios, and seminars. However, there is a problem. The display may work fine with the naked eye, but there may be black scan line and bright and dark line issues when they're shot through still and video cameras. To address the issues, we must first understand camera exposure time and how LED driver works. First, let's look at camera exposure time. Assume we shoot a 60 FPS image at 1 60th second shutter speed. This is what it looks like along with the time axis. If we shoot a 60 FPS image at 1 1 20th second shutter speed, this is what it looks like along the time axis. Shutter opens for 1 1 20th second and closes for 1 1 20th second. Why do we shoot a 60 FPS image at two shutter speeds? It's for the effects. The image will be blurrier at 1 60th second. It'll be clearer at 1 1 20th second. The faster the shutter speed, the clearer the image. It looks like this. Higher shutter speed on one side and slower shutter speed on the other side. Now let's look at the principle of high refresh rate LED displays. An LED display showing a 60 FPS image will receive 60 images per second with 1 60th second for each image. Macroblock's SPWM technology will break the image into 64 sub-images. Each sub-image is 1 64th as bright as the original. We call it a scramble. As 60 images are received every second, we split every image into 64 sub-images. That makes 60 by 64, or 3,840 scrambles. So we say an LED display has a visual refresh rate of 3,840 hertz. This is how it looks along the time axis. Now, let's zoom in on a scramble to see what the LED display is doing. A scramble lasts 1 3,840th second. There's a 6x5 LED display at the bottom. There are 6 LEDs per scan and 5 scans in total. As time progresses, the LED display will light up one scan after another. The whole sequence will repeat itself for the next scramble. Human eyes don't perceive the scanning motion due to the persistence of vision. Having understood how LED driver works and camera exposure time, let's take a look at the black scan line issue. It's caused by exposure time that's shorter than one scramble. A scramble is 1 3840th second long. Let's add a camera with exposure time shorter than that. There's real-time display in the lower right. The image captured by the camera is to the left. As the display lights up one scan after another, the camera shutter is closed by the fifth scan. Though the LED display lights up the fifth scan, the camera doesn't capture it. This leads to one issue, namely black scan line. The black scan line issue is caused by exposure time that's shorter than one scramble. Let's continue. Assume the exposure time is more than a scramble, but not a multiple of the scramble. As the LEDs light up scan by scan, what will the camera capture? The camera shutter is closed here, so the camera will stop capturing and putting the image in the memory. You can see the upper two scans are brighter and the lower three are darker. This creates the second problem, bright and dark lines. Now let's talk about bright and dark lines. Assume I have two cameras, one with exposure time equal to 1.6 times scramble and the other 63.6 times scramble. You can see how bright the images captured by the cameras are. The 1.6 times camera has 20 nits on the top and 10 nits at the bottom. The brightness difference is two times. The other camera has 640 nits on the top 
and 630 nits at the bottom. The brightness difference is only 1 64th. Therefore, the longer the exposure time, the less likely for us to see bright and dark lines. There are several ways to address the issue. First, you can increase the exposure time so you won't see the bright and dark lines. Second, you can make exposure time a multiple of the scramble. Third, you can choose an LED display with a high refresh rate to reduce the brightness gap. We will look at color next. If I shoot a 60 FPS LED display with 1 60th second exposure time, I can capture all 64 scrambles. I'll get an image that has the right brightness and color. However, I'll lose some scrambles with sub 1 60th second exposure time. The image will look kind of off. On the other hand, I'll capture some scrambles of the next frame if the exposure time is longer than 1 60th second. Extra grayscale problem happens. The best way to deal with the grayscale loss or extra grayscale is to match exposure time to frame rate. Finally, there's another common problem. Customers told us that while they shot videos, darker areas tended to flicker like this video shows. To solve the problem, let's go back to SPWM. The IC can easily break up the bright part of the image into 64 scrambles. However, darker areas don't have enough grayscales. Sometimes there can only be one scramble. Let's look at the time axis. The LED display has 1, 2, 3, 4, a total of 4 frames. Assume we can split one bright image into 5 scrambles but only into one scramble for darker image. If a camera shoots with exposure time slightly less than the frame rate, sometimes it will capture the darker scramble and other times it won't. That's why it flickers at low brightness. As to the solution, the best way is to match exposure time to the frame rate or to boost the refresh rate at low brightness. Let's sum up the shooting challenges. Black scan lines result from exposure time less than one scramble time. Bright and dark lines result from exposure time not being multiples of scramble and not long enough. Grayscale loss or extra grayscale results from mismatched exposure time and frame rate. Flicker in darker areas results from too few grayscale levels in darker areas that can't be scrambled. Solution-wise, we recommend ICs with Grayscale Boost and PWM enhancements. Supporting Grayscale Boost, 16-bit 120fps and 7680Hz visual refresh rate, an IC effectively mitigates black scan lines, bright and dark lines, and flicker at low brightness. IC with PWM enhancement function, which is powerful built-in GCLK, supports frame adjustments, effectively addressing the issues. For LED driver ICs with two features, we recommend MBI 5264 for P1 to P4 and MBI 5850 for P1.5 to P6. Thank you.